Whether you're just starting your PCB design journey or have been doing this for decades, routing PCBs remains one of the most time-consuming and iterative tasks in the design process. Routing alone eats up about 30% of the total design time. No wonder engineers have always dreamed of the perfect auto router. But here's the thing, solving that problem isn't simple, which is why the industry is full of skepticism. You've probably heard the old mantra, when it comes to auto routers, the setup takes longer than routing by hand. While auto routers have improved over the years, it often comes with a steep learning curve. The configurations can be so complex that even experienced engineers need months to master them, let alone entrepreneurs or EEs who are just getting started. That's where Flux's brand new AI auto layout comes in. Activate. In this video, I'll explain what AI Auto Layout is, how it delivers human-like results, advanced setup tips for the best design experience, and how you can start using it for free today on Flux. For now, AI Auto Layout is an early access feature. Use the link in the description to log into Flux to see if you have access, or you can apply for access using the form link below. Modern day auto routers rely heavily on detailed configuration and setup. These tools are powered by Boolean algorithms, which means their performance is only as good as the engineer configuring them. Critically, they don't optimize for universally high quality design, but instead optimize for the parameters that you set up. Flux's new AI auto layout flips the script. It eliminates the need for complex configurations while optimizing far beyond any pre-programmed setup. Using reinforcement machine learning, AI is trained on a vast library of professional PCBs, this means it can bypass the manual setup and leverages its training to create professional quality layouts. No years of industry experience required. Let's see what it can do. With a single click, the tool gets right to work. Depending on your design's complexity and density, within minutes, you'll start seeing iterations take shape. At this stage, you might wonder why so many versions? Shouldn't we pause and evaluate in each one? Here's the answer. The AI Auto Layout tool mirrors a trial and error process, much like a human would. It's essentially building a decision tree. What's great about this process is it's completely flexible. Need simple GPIOs routed? You're done in minutes. You want an entire board routed? Let the AI take time to converge on the best solution. If you like an option early on, you can step in, apply changes, and refine it. Or you can sit back and let the AI keep iterating. The Flux team has designed this tool to work on your terms. Now on to how to use it. AI Auto Layout can completely route your board without requiring any cleanup, but following these few best practices will make your design experience faster, smoother, and cheaper. So let me walk you through the step-by-step -step process. Before engaging in Auto Layout, it's important to have placed all mechanical and electrical components. Adjusting them after or during AI Auto Layout will likely require restarting. So for a thorough guide on placement, check out our Mastering Component Placement video. After completing your component placement, the next step is to define the rule sets and constraints of your design. These rules include trace widths, via types, and clearances. Quick tip, if you notice entire nets or sections of traces aren't being routed, you should decrease your clearance rules for that net. I'll demonstrate how to set up a trace width rule set, but the same approach applies to other rule sets. Just adjust for specific layout rules and selection criteria. In Flux, there's two ways to create rule sets. Creating a new rule set from scratch or duplicating and reusing existing rule sets from another design. Let's start by creating a new rule set from scratch. I'll navigate to the Rules tab in the PCB editor and click Create New Rule Set. Open the rule set and rename it, for example, Trace Width Rule Set for 3.3 volt power rail. Next, scroll down and add a new layout rule and specify the constraints you want, such as minimum and maximum trace width, clearance, keep out, or anything else that may apply to the objects. Now we're going to apply the selection criteria. Flux makes this step powerful by offering a robust selection criteria, which I can't fully cover here, so check out the link documentation for a deep dive into selection options. For my design, standardized net naming makes applying these rules simple. Once selected, I now have all three types of rule sets ready to go. You can find these rule sets in the demo project on Flux. Just copy and paste them directly. With the rule sets in place, the next step is to handle sensitive signals like power, high speed, and feedback traces. This involves manually routing critical paths. For example, 
I routed this feedback trace for this design's buck converter. Thanks to careful placement, I also routed the switch node and some other power traces. This just ensures adequate copper. One important note, Flux's AI auto layout currently doesn't automatically neck down trace widths for pad clearances. If your constraints require a trace width larger than the smallest pad, manually routing a fan out trace ensures AI can handle the rest in one go. The final prep step is adding temporary zones to prevent routing under any noisy components. Take the inductor on this buck converter as an example. In order to avoid coupling noise, I'll add a zone to block routing directly beneath it. Zones must not overlap with component pads or the entire zone may be ignored. To add a zone, navigate to the object tree, select layout, add zone, and name it in the inspector. Add connected layers rule. In this case, applying to the top layer and mid layer too. Resize the zone to cover the area of concern and confirm it by toggling the layer fills. A quick tip, remember to disable temporary zones before manufacturing, or they'll interfere with copper ground fills on the Gerber file. With sensitive signals routed, fan outs complete, and zones in place, the board is in its best state to run auto layout. Copilot auto layout is the fastest evolving AI feature in EDA history. Every time you run it, you can directly influence its performance by giving a rating and sharing feedback. The more you use it, the better it gets because your feedback directly helps us refining its trading data and focus on the design challenges that matter most. And that's it. You're ready to try the AI auto layout beta. Flux is an EDA tool designed to take the hard out of hardware, and it's evolving faster than ever. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more tutorials and walkthroughs, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.